Hi there, I'm Adrian and today I want to talk about Roland S. Howard. Now, in case you don't know who he is, I suppose he's a bit of a cult guitar hero. He's, he's long been a bit of a favourite of mine. Probably most well known for his work with Nick Cave in the band The Birthday Party, but he, he made lots of great music subsequent to that um, in various different bands. Uh, lots, of, lots of great collaborations, a couple of really good solo records as well. Um, I suppose he's most famous for his uh, kind of sonic terrorism I suppose so lots of uh, screaming howls of, uh, of feedback and uh, craziness um, which I would love to be able to demonstrate for you today but my neighbours probably wouldn't thank me too much for that so I've instead decided to focus on something a bit more subdued and uh, atmospheric um, it's a track called Breakdown and Then from his uh, solo album Teenage Snuff Film which I, I highly recommend um, pretty easy to play he's not one of those uh, players who's a, a great sort of virtuoso it's, it's more about just great ideas and atmosphere and, and attitudes so uh, um, so I think think you find it quite easy to play and uh, I hope a lot of fun as well so let's get started so let me take you through how to play this song um, as I said at the start there's nothing too technically challenging going on here it's more about creating an atmosphere and having some some great kind of guitar ideas. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is put a capo on your guitar at the second fret um, and if you've got one I would uh, suggest you get a tremolo pedal out as well because um, you might have noticed that um, the, the, the atmosphere of this song is, is, is created by having that nice kind of wobbly sound which is roughly in tempo with the track. You've got one and two and three and four and kind of feel on a, on a tremolo pedal. So if you have, have one of those kind of pedals then definitely get, get that out. Um, now the whole track is based around this kind of uh, sort of riff I guess played on the low E string. Um, very simple. I'm just playing that down, up, down, down with the pick then leaving some space. Two, three, four again. One, two, three, four. A third time. Um, 
And then this low bass riff is interspersed with some... Uh, some, uh, I guess, kind of droney little licks played on the top two strings. So the first one of those, and we're playing... Um, that's like the 14th to the 12th to the 11th fret on the B string. Um, at the same time, you're going to be hitting the open top string to create that nice kind of droning effect. So that comes in the gap between the bass riffs. Three, four. Play the uh, bass riff again. Um, and this time we play... I've got the open two top strings. Uh, then playing the, the 5th fret to the 7th fret on the, the B string. Then we're going to switch to the 5th string for the, uh, the bass riff. And playing the 5th to the 7th to the 10th fret um, on the top two strings. All, all, all the time with that droning, droning top string there. Play the 5th string again. And this time it's uh, 5, 7, 10, 12 for the, for the riff on the, the top strings. And then that whole thing repeats again. So low E, 3, 4, 2, the introduction to the song. On the original recording I've got a feeling that those two parts, the, the low bit and the, and the high bit, are played on different uh, guitar tracks with slightly different sounds, um, but I think it, it all works very well when you play it um, on, on the same guitar or, or, all together at the same, the same time. Um, so that's the introduction of the song. When the singing starts it simplifies even further and we just have the bass riff um, with, with the, uh, the vocals in between, in the gaps between the phrases. So we play the low riff twice, um, and then we play the, the same thing on the A string twice, I think. Into the chorus of the song, and um, the, the sound slightly changes there. There are kind of various layers of different kind of shoegazy sounding guitar so if you've got a fuzz pedal or something you might want to to step on it at that point in the song uh, we're just playing an e chord two three four one um, they've got a little kind of melodic linking phrase which is just it's, if it's the first fret to the second fret to the first fret this is all, all relative to the capo um, on the third string and then two zero on the fourth string and two on the fifth string. And that's leading back into the E chord again. Um, if you've got a guitar with a whammy bar, you can give that a bit of a shake on those, those chords. Um, then we're gonna play the E chord again. A D to an A. Two, three, four, one. And we've got another little linking melody on the A chord, which is just um, fourth string open to the second fret, and then open third string, second fret, fourth string, open fourth string. So you play the A chord. Two, three, four, one. And a G chord um, back to the uh, the E chord. That whole thing repeats again. So it's kind of a, a double chorus before we return to the to the to the low riff. Um, and then I think it's another verse chorus verse chorus. Um, and then I think the only other um, guitar part to really talk about is just the bit at the very end where he plays some kind of variations and, and fills. Um, on the, the top two strings. So uh, we, we have the low riff. Um, same as at the start.
start, that's the uh, 14, 12, 11 kind of lick. Then we've got that's 14th fret on the B string, 12th fret on the top string, back to the 14th fret on the B string, and then 14th fret on the top string, just letting those notes ring together where you can. Next one is I think hammer on from 11th to 12th fret and then 11, 12 again with the droning top string. Something like that. I don't think you need to be super precise with all of this. Um, low riff again. Um, something like that, the next little phrase which is just uh, 12th fret to the open top string. Um, and then uh, 12th fret again down to the uh, down to the 11th fret with the droning top string um, back to the same idea that we, we we just had so 14th fret on the B string 12th fret on the top string uh, putting down a finger at the 14th fret on the top string and then releasing it back to the to the twelfth fret. A um, little bit of whammy bar there if you want to, um, and then just the the, the very last bit um, bit of the song, the kind of outro. It's really just playing various rhythms based around those three notes. So. Probably the best thing to do there is just to kind of impro improvise around those notes rather than try and copy uh, exactly what's on the recording, which I'm I'm guessing is is probably pretty loosely played and and improvised um, anyway. So um, I think that's that's about it. So that's that that's all you need to play the entire song. There's a little introduction. The verses are all just the low bass notes, and then there's the chorus sort of based around those big big fuzzy chords. Then the, the little outro licks at the end. So there we have it. I hope you enjoy learning to play this song. If you've liked this lesson, you might want to check out my website. I'll put a link underneath this video and there are lots more free guitar lessons there, many of them um, on songs and music in this kind of a style. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, do the Twitter thing, do the Facebook thing, which um, as well as uh, boosting my ego will uh, also allow my channel to grow and uh, ultimately enable me to have more time to, to make more videos. So uh, have fun and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.